guys, Poncho Cortez, and today I'm reviewing the new Suavecito oil-based pomade. Now this oil-based pomade dropped about a couple weeks ago around Viva Las Vegas, and it was meant just for wholesale, and then the very next week it went online and I decided to get my hands on it. Just like everyone else, I was super stoked to get it, and when I checked out the tin, I was pretty impressed. So the tin has a very Victorian gaslight, aesthetic to it. It's got designs around the lettering. It's got the two it's got the two heads, the suavecito and suavecita icons. And it's pretty cool. I liked it. There was uh there's impressive detail put into this. So as I mentioned, this had the Victorian gaslight aesthetic. It's very old fashioned. What's pretty cool is that it's a metal container, but not just any metal container, it's the one that Murray's actually uses. The only difference is that the logo on the top of the tin has actually been embossed, so it pops out more. Inside you get the regular oil-based cream yellow tint. This is very common amongst oil-based pomade, most oil-based pomades. Some use dyes, others still use just the regular petroleum color. Since this is an original type of oil-based pomade, they decided to use petroleum for it, which is impressive because you don't see too many companies do that anymore. They try to look for alternatives so that way it can wash out of your hair easily. The fragrance is still consistent with just the regular line, the one that you find in the original hold, the Firme hold, and their matte pomade. So they still have that sports cologne scent. When it came to scooping it out, it was super easy. And the reason why is because this is a medium hold pomade. So don't really expect to be making pompadours with this if that was your intention in getting it. I would say realistically, you're probably looking at doing something like an executive contour or the silver screen side part, just basically a flatter hairstyle, one that relies on overlapping hairs than something that is gonna actually grip it and give it a little bit more volume. So with this oil-based pomade, they're trying to go they're trying to go a little bit more old school with its grip and style just because back in the day, you know, hairstyles weren't so reliant on volume, but rather they were flatter and they were meant more to show how groomed they were and just to show off something like comb lines. When I was applying this, I didn't get too much tug and pull. It was actually fairly easy. It's uh, petroleum, so I would recommend applying this while your hair is dry. It's not supposed to go in while it's wet, otherwise you're gonna get a tough time when actually combing it. Using this pomade today, it wasn't too bad. Unfortunately, I had the problem of just like having to comb my hair every five minutes. I think where Suavecito messed up in this was releasing this product in May, which is actually one of the worst times you can really release a oil-based product because what you're looking at is the long, the long summer, especially here in Southern California, you think they would have known better, but you know, we all make mistakes. Considering the price for it, it wasn't too bad. It's about $8.99 and plus shipping was about $14 in total, so it wasn't too bad. That's why I'm not really complaining about this pomade too much because I was expecting it to give me a medium hold and I, you know, wasn't expecting anything special, unfortunately. And that was the case, it's nothing too special. It's a oil-based pomade that smells really well and that's what's good about it. Personally me, I might get it again, I might not. It's It was so-and-so just because I think at their time of release, they weren't considering the fact that it's gonna be during one of the hottest seasons, especially in California when after May, the heat is turned up like crazy and it's impossible to use an oil-based pomade. Overall, it wasn't too bad. I did enjoy the scent. I would compare this to the Tres Flores Brilliantine where it's got a slightly stronger grip just because there's minor wax in there. But overall, this holds pretty soft. The shine wasn't too bad. It does give you an oil-based shine. In fact, this is my hair. Reflecting back, I think this pomade was probably a little bit overhyped. That's not to say that I don't think you guys should get it, but I would recommend this product for people who probably have thinner hair where it would actually really work well for them. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Okay, okay, okay.